that's where we're trying to get to is the top of that mountain. Whoa! Yeah! some tires what is up welcome back to the channel we're back out for day two so today we're out at the hope nickel mine once again and today we're trying to see if we can actually find the mine site so we got to go around and try and figure our way out and see if we can actually find a way into the forbidden mine that's somewhere up in this mountain range so you need to go further where's the trail go this ain't it Oh, it is sandy. This is gonna be interesting. I've never ridden anything like this, that's for sure. Turns out this is actually a landslide down the mountain. Is it, de it dead ends too? Yeah. Damn it. Oh, this is gonna be fun to climb up. Oh God, don't look down. Man, this thing climbs effortlessly. That was fun. All right, we're into another little zippy trail. We got a huge mountain to climb up here. So we started with trying to go up the west side of the mountain and now we're gonna cross over the front face of it and we're gonna try and climb up the east side of the mountain and see if we get in that way into the mine. Huh, this is neat. Like, what are you coming up to? Oh my god. Woo! That was tight. This place has such a good variety. Little track. Come along bridge, so let's come along for this wild ride. Yeah, this place that we're at here in Hope's got insane height and whatnot. Like mountains are massive here. Like makes our stuff back at home feel like a, like a hill, you know? These are mountains, big difference. Elevation's massive. And we even have to rejet the bike. Still runs amazing. Love the power of the carby. Woo! Yeah, it's really fun like riding like a mountain bike through the trails is what it feels like a lot more like. But you get that power when you just wanna pick up some more speed. But other than that, it's like riding a freaking mountain bike. So much different than the four stroke. I absolutely love it. And in this tight stuff, this is like, this bike shines in here, boys. It's so freaking plush. It's awesome. It really helps though that I'm not like a super heavy set rider. I'm a really light set rider. So the suspension for me, freaking dialed. Now we've crossed over onto a trail known as Whoops Hill. So it had a really cool name. So we're like, let's try this one up. It takes you up the face of the mountain that should lead into the mine site. So we figured might as well hop into this trail. Sounds like it's got a cool name. Should be a good trail. Let's go. Now 
when I say that these are mountains, these things are mountains. These hills just continue to climb and go and go and go and it's unreal. You just don't get stuff like this back at home where it just continues to climb. <laughs> Okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> this is really when I can notice and feel the torque of this compared to the KLX just pushing up these hills. Oh, this one's full of, full of nuggets. Oh yeah. <laughs> and the difficulty level goes up here. No trail marker again, eh? Everyone looks going right. Holy slab monster. <laughs> That's wicked. Yeah, this place just has it, man. That's a new nickname for the bike. It's gonna call it the Roadrunner. Dude, this is so sick. This hill is not what, not what I had expected. Oh, that was slimy. Is it right at 401? Right. See, and then you're gonna get into this, it's gonna look like just a bunch of flowness. crazy that this is all still the exact same hill climb like this climb just continues to go and go and go I've never experienced something like this riding out before it is oh man I am just itching to get back out here and to hope the riding there is just unmatched unreal stuff out there some of the best trails and just variety of stuff it makes it so much fun and this freaking beta cross trainer just absolutely eats it up it's in its hometown here It's incredible how much these 300s, you can just lug them right down. hopped onto a trail known as the 401 which is the switchback that climbs up further up the face of the mountain. <laughs> yeah it's crazy because even in just a low RPM just rolling on the throttle, it still wants to pull. It never wants to like not keep going, you know? Like with the KLX, if you're in too high of a gear, it just wants to die, right? But that's the torque this thing has, man. The thing just keeps chugging. It's a total tractor. Yeah, these trails are so sick, bro. Ha <laughs> ha! 
There's the whoops. Over the tree. That's fun. <laughs> Dude. Third gear, lug it down. Bike does not care. Still just chugs. Epic! I love this. Oh, we we have to come back to this riding park. Like, oh my god, look at that. That's magnificent. These trails are top-notch, boys. try to rip me off the bike. You just don't want to mess up in a lot of these trails because you got that cliffside right next to you. Like right there. This place is the freaking dream. If you guys are ever going through Hope and you guys ride dirt bikes, Mountain BC Canada, you got to stop here. It's a must-ride place. So good. So good. Bring the extra gas with you and your jerrys because you are going to want to ride till your legs fall off here. Ha <laughs> ha. This is so awesome, guys. I know I'm going to say it over and over, but I'm having the time of my freaking life. So happy we got the freaking beta for this trip, man. Yee-hoo! Blog hop. Woo! Oh, this is the dream. Colorado or something. Yeah, this is wild. <laughs> Little tight tristies in the trees here. A little more brush in here. Now what we didn't know is that we were actually the first people of the season to try and make it up towards the mine site. Now usually during winter, this place gets completely snowed out and it's impassable. This is the switch back to climb up to the face of the mountain. We're definitely climbing already though. Definitely getting up there. Oh, big tree in the way. Oh, that's a blast.
pokies. Up we freaking go. So good. This park is top tier, dude. Top tier park. Oh my god, now there's freaking snow. Oh boy, I was not expecting to see snow in the middle of summer. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get into an adventure here, boys. Oh boy. Damn, eh? Just casually making our own trail around the snow here, up in the little side peak. Then we get forced kind of back out into the snow here. It's a little bit crusty and some real old snow. You pretty much need no throttle and just walk the bike and it stays floating. You guys can see there's a bit of snow on the trail. It's the end of May, right? Yep, this is as early as people start riding here. La di di da. Then down right. <laughs> Adventure. <Yeah. laughs> here because it makes it a whole lot easier when the bike isn't just sinking all over to the ground and then you got to pull it and drag it out of it so it's just a lot easier on the body to walk it yeah this is an adventure all right boys okay it looks like we might have made it through the snow Yeah, I wasn't uh, expecting to do some snow riding here in summer, that's for sure. Then back into some more green shrubbery, a little bit of an escape from that snow. Thankfully, that's uh, hopefully the end of it. <laughs> and just when we thought we escaped the snow again with this stuff I guess we're back to making our own trail through the woods Alright, we 
had to do a little trail clearing. Being the first ones to be through here since like all the windfall of winter and all the down trees and stuff, there was a lot of debris in the trails. <laughs> A little bit of MacGyvering on the trail there. Was there not one? Hold on. Where we just came up from. The intersection's right here. Is it? Yeah. It's literally around this next corner. Yeah, but it's intersection in snow. Well, we got snowed out on this trail. So yeah, we got uh, completely snowed out on that trail. So we're going to go see if we can take the, uh, the other way. Because apparently there's a giant mine trail. We're trying to get up to and see if we can get up into the mine because that would be next level cool. So let's make your way back down this one. Let's hop in the next trail. So now we're going to see if we can make our way to the far west side and wrap up around the back side of the left of the mountain and see how that goes for us. <laughs> okay, so this is a, a double black diamond descent here. So this is uh, called Bull Bear Sh Boulevard. It is tacky. Oh boy, how swampy is it? Oh, it's swampy. Oh, it's swampy. Well, that's tight on the trees. Saucy. Oh, a nice little waterfall. Holy f thought I saw something there. Sounded really My shock was coming loose. What? Yeah, the spring collar on the top that holds us. It sounded like jingle bells. I was like, that's weird. Looked at it, the collar was always spun to the top. Oh, yeah, so she's tight, she's good now. Go yeah. Yeah, my shock was about to fall off there. The shock collar came undone. Those are some big nuggies. Oh, just barely. Long for the freaking ride there. Some swampy bog. Yeah, that's the only thing with those new bikes. If you haven't touched every freaking bolt on it, you gotta watch out for that kind of stuff. Congrats. Oh, you broke it. There's a stick sticking out on that last hairpin corner, so I went to go wide and it threw me in the bank. Oh, the old man broke his first set of plastics on his bike. And of course, we were just talking about how he's gonna get a new set and uh, retire the original ones, but I guess that's not happening. <laughs> that's epic. That's epic. Another little epic bridge. It's a freaking Narnia, man.
I think I need a photo here. Yeah. Oh. Woo! Just about took a spill on my back into the rocks here. There's not very good footing and uh, some pretty sizable holes. Nope, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah. So at this point, we're just trying to find any trail that'll take us across this washout that there is. Yeah, we need to get around that washout. So to me, that makes sense that way. This mountain has a lot of landslides all over it, so we're trying to figure out a way around them. What do we got here? Here's the rest of the slide out. Yeah, I love the 300 torque. It just, anytime you want saw. See, there's another one there. Looking good. All right, I think we're, we made it onto the right path here. Oh, dude, look at the river. Oh, man. There's your swimming spot. Yeah, and this is it. This is the one. All right, got a, lot, a little log hop. <laughs> That's a cool bridge. Oh, these are some cool little techie trails here. Like through a bog. Oh, this is epic. On the river. Oh, it goes up the river, no way. Or maybe not. But you gotta go over that log then. Yeah. Hey, you're not making that. I don't mind taking five here, this is beautiful. Oh man. Wow, boys. This is awesome. Wow. That's a beauty. Look at this. Epicness. Okay, that was super cool spot. Unfortunately, the river's too deep to cross. That's where one of the continuations of the trail that goes up to where we're trying to get to, but gotta try another, another way. All right, so that trail was a dud. Let's go see if we can find another way in. Oh yeah, dude. Fun. 
<laughs> so now we've made it over to the far east side and we're gonna try to go all the way around the east side and up the back side of the mountain to try and see if we can get into this mine. <laughs> We put the tire pressures down. I think we got 11 in the front, eight and a half in the rear. So much better, so much better. Honestly, everything feels just super dialed at this point. And I'm getting used to the bike. Nice beauty view there too. Yeah, we're on our way right now. We finally think we have a way to get to the mine. If the mine is a thing, but the trail is called the giant mine. So you think that's gotta be the mine. So that's where we're going right now. So here we are along the trail. The mine should be up there. So that's where we're trying to get to is the top of that mountain, all the way up there. That's the mine. All right, oh. Okay, it's called the Hunter. This is quite the interesting trail here. <laughs> this is a wild trail. This is to like totally different again. Oh! Yeah, this trail is wild. Oh no, f off snow. Go away. No, it's just a patch. Okay, we're good. Hell yeah. See this thing, you just pull the throttle and it'll pick up the front tire. Okay, we're going up. Ah. my own trail all right this trail is freaking climbing oh it's coming up ain't it yeah yeah these are quite the dugouts here These are some deep crossings. Oh, it just keeps going. It's just a cliff down. That's the last way into it. You have to do it right here, but there's no way you're coming back. No. And getting up the other side, that's to that's a pull a bike up one. Well, we tried to go every single which way we could to get to the mine, but one had all snowed out, 
The other one had a river that was way too deep to cross. And this one just totally eroded out. Huge, huge water. Yeah, you guys can't say we didn't uh, try to get to the mine because we took every entrance there was to it. And they were all blocked off, so. Just the way she is sometimes. You got river snowed out and that huge ditch crossing. So we'll go find some other good stuff to find and play on.